What is going on, lunatics? Decentralization means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And because there is a difference of opinion and we are not a hive mind, if you will, then it leads to conflict. I'm going to show you some of this conflict. And you might laugh at it because, listen, hindsight sometimes, 2020, uh, when you see something, you know something. And the, the best I can say is that we all try to do the best that we can. And I mean you, and I mean me, and I mean everybody else. And we try to come up with, you know, positivity, or we try to uh, lean into a path. What is the most fundamental problem with Luna Classic right now? Uh, we need a repeg. We need a repeg that would burn some USTC, that would burn Luna Classic, that would start to diminish some of the supply to create better value for the remaining supply. However, getting there is a complicated process because it requires bad actors doing things to help the community or it requires uh, everybody getting in unison to start trading more. For example, trade on weeks, you burn tokens. Trade on Binance, you burn tokens. Trade on MEXE right now, you don't burn any tokens. But guess what? One of the highest volume trading places for Luna Classic, MEXE. Who's doing that? Why would you do that? Do you see what I'm saying? Like that the, you're not helping your process by, and, and listen, that doesn't mean that, that doesn't mean that, that, that you shouldn't do it over there. You should do whatever you want to do, but we have to come together as a community if we want to get success. Now, sometimes we come together and we get rug pulled by uh, a bad actor. I'm going to go through some of this stuff that's been going on right now. You might be a little bit surprised. We're going to do it while we're talking about it. So I'm going to run through the news so that we can get to the drama. All right, guys, here we go. First up, Terraform Labs founder Duquan likely faces $5.3 billion in fines on the two-year anniversary of the crisis. Not exactly the two-year, but it, it, very, very close. It's, ve it's very ironic that this is happening and playing out the way that it is. So uh, remember, uh, the 22nd is when he goes in front of Judge Jed Rakoff. Uh, the founder of the Rakoff token, I want to say, maybe not. I don't know that he actually founded it, but you know, maybe. Um, I don't know. Do eighty-two year old old men who cuck for the SEC do do those guys make their own tokens? I don't think so. Maybe it's somebody else. We'll find out. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Next up, Luna Classic developer announces key upgrade. I've been talking to this guy about this. Like we've been, I, I have my own chat here where, where we talk about some of these projects and initiatives. Uh, Stratholm, uh, Strathcole is utilizing the Cosmos ES wallet kit and, with UI design by David Skinder. And what they're doing is they're creating the Terra Classic wallet. Now they're only on 0 0.0.1 and they're upgrading it to 0 0.0.22. So we're not even at 1.0 yet. We're a very early version, but there is a Terra Classic wallet being worked on a little more robust than the station wallet. Uh, it's going to give us a lot of freedom, I think, going forward. Now we're building, all of these things are being done does take a little bit of time to get it working. So just bear in mind, there is a wallet coming, a wallet that you will be able to rely on. So let's check out price action before we get into the drama. Because you know what? Everybody loves drama, except me. I hated drama. Um, Turtle was cool. And of course, Vinny Chase was okay. But listen, let's get into it. So price action. Uh, we're bouncing around in this little channel right here. Now, this is on the one hour. So uh, do I expect to see a big blow off over here? At first, I thought, you know, there's a certain possibility here that we would get kind of a, a blow off moment. But then I thought, you know, we got to get a little more conservative. This is probably an outlier. And if we start to look at, you know, where it's really sort of developing at right here, then we're getting an idea of some maximum upward momentum in this sort of range. If it happens quickly, then this little pocket of um, this little pocket right here would probably represent the biggest amount of resistance. So, you know, coming up, if we get a breakout, then coming up into this range right here, probably where it sort of ends, if you will. And uh, you might even, uh, in order to make this feel a little bit more like, eh, it actually seems more realistic, I bring it down a little bit and, and let's make that channel look a little bit better. And we'll just say that's a false breakout, if you will, because we've got a lot of settling along this sort of line right here. Same thing over here. Like I keep breaking it down and out just a little bit. 
but the more it settles in this range, the more we get an idea of where it goes, right? So if I do that, and then I say that if we get this breakout, a little bit of a breakout, right? It comes up here, gets into this range right here. That's more like 12.5, which represents that bottom area right there. So look for a breakout to about uh, 12. If we can get some good momentum in the market now, only about 11 million outflows in Bitcoin yesterday. So, uh, you know, we might be looking at a, a bit of a reversal. Uh, keep your eyes on it. Not sure yet. So uh, as far as volume, uh, volume still down, uh, 619 million market cap, but the volume, the, this this volume coming down the way it is. Uh, and by the way, when when I when I tell you uh, some 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 wild stuff here, like look at the volume that's happening over here. Uh, yeah, Grove. They don't trust Grove X, but Grove X has it's got about nine million in volume here. Binance eight million, but but like, go down here. Remember, Binance the only one uh, that's burning and uh, KCEX, right? So uh, start going down here, and you see uh, Orange X one seven one point seven million. Um, uh, OKX okay, one point three million. Don't do any burn. Uh, BidFi. 859,000, KuCoin 645,000, Batunix 558, uh, Bitcoin Turkey, XT, DeepCoin. You know, going down this list, you'll start to find all of these different places that are trading volume, quarter million dollars in volume over at MAX. None of these guys are burning anything except weeks, right? So you got to go down this list. You got to keep looking. You got to keep looking like, um, uh, you know, where do we find weeks? We got to get trade volume uh, over on weeks right there seven thousand dollars in trade volume you guys want to burn tokens you want to burn tokens you got to do it through weeks or you got to do it through binance you know uh quit playing around with these other exchanges that don't benefit you that's kind of important and look if you sign up at the description down below in my link then i get a commission off of it. if you don't like me don't do it no big deal but continue to burn some of the tokens and continue to use some of the fees in order to burn if you want to do something positive you want to see something positive happen that's how you do it so um, USTC, uh, same thing, volume, almost the same, uh, price up a little bit. Uh, so, you know, there's some positivity. So now let's get into the bullshit. Do you remember, um, uh, do, do you remember, um, he's Levi now. I don't remember what he was ever called before. Right. But uh, let's look at this just, just to give you an idea. All right. So this is Levi, the crypto crusader, as it were. Now, what is he crusading for? Well, that varies based on who pays him or it varies based on who he can farm for engagement. Now, when you look at this, uh, we should preface this, that right now, if you were to go here, then what you see is HBAR, HBAR. What are my top three projects? HBAR, XRP, CASPA. Let me tell you something. If you want to build an audience right now, a general, just a, a general audience right now, the more active people on YouTube to farm for content, HBAR, XRP, CASPA. So just so you guys understand, this is not about top three projects because it's nonsense uh, to say some of these projects are top three. XRP is not a top three project anymore. Um, <laughs> you're not going to make a bunch of money off of XRP. That's ridiculous. You might get a nice pump, but, you know, I mean, come on. We're, we're not children anymore, right? So anyway, HBAR, XRP, CASPA, because we're, we're farming, right? Now, take it a step further here and keep going down. Um, uh, this is the guy who, who told you that he has to be honest with you, by the way. This is the guy. And I'm going to show it to you in just a second. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, when I left the Lunk community, my IQ immediately went up 20 points. Then I had an incredible revelation. If someone disagrees with me, it doesn't mean they are a scammer. It was a shock at first. I got very used to calling everyone who dis disagreed with me a stupid scammer dummy. I thought it was the best insult. And somehow I believe I would ruin the reputation for speaking ill of my beloved Lunk. When I opened my mind to the fact that other other cryptocurrencies exist and Lunk was not going to 10,000 X uh, and it hit 116 uh, then become the new world's reserve currency. It was a tough realization. That's the dumbest thing I've ever read. Like this guy's trying to feed you this delusion of uh, I, I thought this was going to do whatever, whatever it was going to do. Right now, <laughs> what he said was, I'm tired of lying to people, right? I'm tired of lying to people. So what happens? Uh, we get uh, this. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, um, he's trolling Leia Halpern. I don't even know who that bitch is. So, you know, um, but go look. Oh, uh, going all in, all of your money, you're, you're, and it's going to go up 1,267%, right? It's not going, it, by the way, it's not going to do that. You know what it's doing? Uh, it's going to do whatever it's going to do. Uh, Bitcoin, 
uh, an XRP huge sell-off. This is April 30th. Is, is that happening or did that happen? It's not over. It's over? It's not over. Wait a minute. It's, it's over. Um, Lunk is dead, right? It's time to get and, and this is what you see. By the way, who is this guy? This is the guy who got you, and by the way, me. And let me also I'll let you know. I was reached out by one of his agents, uh, and they asked me to do a promo video for Fire Token. And what they told me at the time was that Fire Token was going to be used to mine Bitcoin. Once it was used to mine Bitcoin, it was going to be then used uh, to burn Luna Classic. And who was the owner of it? Levi. Well, the question now would be, how much has it burned? I cannot answer that question for you. I was paid for a video and I mean, I can apologize to you guys uh, about that and say, oh, you know, uh, but but listen, I, I don't I, I don't know really what to say about it other than um, scam. And look, let, let me point this out. Lunk Luna Classic HQ was posting about Fire Token. Uh, Terra Luna Army was posting about Fire Token uh, pre-sale. Haley Lunk uh, was posting about the same thing. Uh, Lunk Classic HQ. You know, all of these, all these places, all these people, they're all posting about it. And then Fire Token, right? Here's the Fire Token. This is the website right here. Um, and this was um, the, the, where he's sharing his own videos, right? Um, and, it, it, you know, this, it really, this, this is just a guy who does engagement farming. And by the way, he's good at engagement farming. I don't think we should, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to his ability to farm people and lie to people for content. I mean, that's, and, and by the way, that's a valuable thing in this space. You know, I give you uh, hyperbole, um, uh, it's over and, and shit like that all the time. Like we all kind of do it because that gets your eyes and that gets somebody to pay attention. Hopefully, if you see it, then I provide you with some value in the content, right? Um, here, February 25th, fire. We are close to having our Bitcoin mining operational. Who's excited? Wait a minute. Uh, didn't you just leave the community? Wait a minute. You took, how much did you take? I'm pretty sure this was over a hundred thousand dollars for fire token that you took before you. I'm not leaving the community. I fell out of love. I don't love you anymore. I fell out of love. Whatever it is that you say, wild, isn't it? And look, I mean, say what you will. Um, this guy is farming people for engagement. Uh, he's picking tokens that he knows will have a lot of activity on YouTube and you know, go go down the list and you're, you're going to see the same thing happening. And look, awesome news. A couple days before, awesome news. Lunk, Shib, and XRP fam. Our crypto copy trading on Fairdesk is currently seeing immense profits. So um, so he's he's trading on Fairdesk and he's trading Lunk on Fairdesk, a, a project that he hates now, and Shib, which he doesn't talk about. Uh, and X, again, this is just a, this is a guy who likes to farm uh, and he'll he'll tell you whatever he whatever you want to hear in order to uh, to get you to pay more attention, and, and again, I like I don't, I don't I don't begrudge this, but we do have to be honest about exactly what is happening all the way down the line. Here's him saying Luna Classic to a dollar. Um, I mean, again, you know, I told you two point eight cents because I think that it's fair to say that it's going to be two point eight cents. But this guy's been telling you one hundred sixteen dollars. Uh, he's been telling you a dollar. You know, I mean, you guys do your own research. I mean, go look at it. You know what I mean? Like, just just, just go check it out. Now, I don't want to cook the guy, but did he scam you? Did, were, were you scammed for a hundred and however many thousand dollars? Uh, my, my my price for the video, by the way, $700. So uh, that's what I got uh, from him for uh, the the video that, that we did. So um, I, I, per video, by the way, I did, I did like four videos. So... There we are. This is this is who has the fire token that took a hundred thousand dollars from you to open up a Bitcoin mining farm with energy use. You remember that? Remember what we said here? Uh, FireToken.net. Let's go to it. Oh, I wonder why the site's not loading really fast or anything. I don't know. Uh, you can buy the fire token, right? Uh, and, and then it was oh, we're Bitcoin mining at 0.02 cents per kilowatt hour, which is the lowest in the world, uh, and burn lunk with our holders. I don't see any burn right now right i mean let's we we have to be honest so you know there it is now uh let's go to the next one because this one's just 
unbelievable. Um, so now it turns out we've got Happy Caddy Crypto who's blocking Battle Force Validator. And I don't know, I, I don't have a, a testament to what they're doing here, uh, but uh, they're saying that uh, it, you've descended into squabbles and, and Twitter arguments. He said, I'm not arguing with anybody. Um, both Greenpeace and Happy Caddy Crypto have blocked me. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Honesty is simply too comfort confronting for some. Uh, and then they've got the Happy Caddy Crypto, I'm full of crypto crap. There, there was, uh, and then it says, when you're shitting on his project, when did I shit on his project? Please care, please, please care. We actually pay to use auto compounding. It's not like it's free. And then they go on and they go on and they go on and, and, and continue uh, their way down here. And it appears to be uh, something to do with the Rakoff token. Like, is there something going on uh, with Rakoff that Happy Caddy Crypto doesn't like? Because it's, it sounds like to me that he called Rakoff token a scam. Right. Happy Caddy Crypto did. So um, that seems to be where a lot of this uh, you know, raggedy shit comes from. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how this, you know, how this all played out. But um, we've got a whole bunch of drama just kind of playing out. And I find it difficult for me to take sides most of the time. So I don't have a side in this uh i am brought to you by terraport.finance um terra casino if you want to play some risk-based gaming and, and burn some tokens weeks token if you want to stop sending hundreds of thousands of dollars every day to places like kraken and okx and you want to start burning them in a real place that's going to burn the tokens that's going to actually help this community those are things that that should be done but uh you've got levi the fire token uh h bar caspa this week xrp maxi um running game on you collecting over a hundred thousand dollars from you and doing nothing for it why don't you just burn a hundred thousand dollars why don't you just buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of luna class and send it to and send it to a burn wallet and say i don't want to do this right that's not going to happen he got you he took you for your money and here we are right now he doesn't like it and he's leaving so the testament to the guy and, and by the way um a lot of us told you who he was a long long time ago uh, remember, um, who's that, uh, the one with the hair, uh, classy, classy crypto when they got into it, that was the reason why, cause they're, um, he's a, an engagement farmer. Classy was learning how to farm engagement. And here we are, you know, who's still here, me, you know, who's still here, happy caddy crypto. Uh, we don't dis, we don't, we don't agree or disagree all of the time on everything, but we're still here. Um, Mr. Diamond Hands still here. You know, all these a lot of different people who are still here in this community while these other guys flame out and disappear uh, because they got what they wanted from you, which was your engagement, which was your attention. Uh, they farmed you for something. And, yeah, you know, here we are. So um, am I wrong, though? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I know I got off on a bit of a rant here and I don't have a project to cover today, but this I felt like this was important uh, to know. Um, and again, I do want to summarize here. And I, and of course I, I tell you guys every time I, I accept like a payment, uh, for, you know, a, a project. So that's what I'm doing here is letting, you know, you know, fire token. I, uh, as a matter of fact, um, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I can send you a, a copy of Levi telling me that if I want future support, then I should talk good about fire token or something like that. Like, like wild shit. So, um, but nobody tells me what to do. Give a shit. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I know this was, again, I know this was a little bit of a rant, but uh, let's have fun with it. And uh, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. Have a good weekend and lunk to the moon. The market's volatile right now, and you don't see me complaining about it. You want to know why I'm putting most of mine into cryptonomy.finance in order to earn yield off. And that's making it easy for me because I know the bull run's coming and I know cryptonomy.finance is going to give me yield. While you've been selling off, I completed one of my first Bitcoin transactions and I earned 0 0.012 Bitcoin. I'm about to pick up another 0 0.03 Bitcoin. This is a several thousand dollars that I've earned in yield from cryptonomy.finance. But if you want more, Here's the launch pad, TARS Protocol 13X. Remember, guys, I just gave you the, the 411 on Xverse. That was one of their launches, did a 4X. If you're looking to earn yield on your crypto, 
Cryptonomy.finance is the place to do it. Mobile app products should be out in the next one to two months, and then that'll make it even easier for you to have fixed staking or uh, the launch pool to help you on your journey. Stuff financial advice from Always Right. I'm looking for the good life, good life. Send